suicide, Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwick Quarry. I should get back and let her know. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. How the hell did it come back? Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence. I'd like to have a nice phone conversation with an adult without interruption. Hey, you enjoy scaring kids? This little girl cost me everything. It was supposed to be a simple job. Easy money. What do you mean? She's just a kid. It don't matter what she is. Her daddy owed too much to the wrong people. She was just an insurance policy. Is that where you come in? A simple snatch and grab. After everything was settled up, I'd let her go. I'm guessing it wasn't so simple. That may be. But she owes me now. And I ain't leaving till her debt is paid. Cut your losses. It may be a while. Don't worry. I can wait. I've got nothing but time, my friend.
Now that boys, place your bets and hope your luck improves. It ain't about I never know if she likes me or she's just being nice. Poor guys. I remember when I still thought poker was a game of chance. A few more good cards would help. Throw in some chips, Nate. I've had two birthdays.
is by far the worst birthday party. What's the use of a party if you have to plan it? That's like work. You know, I'd be fine just watching a video. Guess that's an idea. But logistically speaking, how do we work that out? You want to take your car? Hey, it's it's you. You're famous. Check out the TV. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, folks, I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. What happened up here? I'm afraid that's still under investigation. I got the God, why can't I think of anything original to ask? No. I should make sure I stay with these people when I go. God, why don't they just tell us? No. They haven't come back yet. Why does everyone need the gory details? Jeez, just tell them what happened. They'll find out soon enough. Hey, Broyles. You seen that little girl that lives here? She turns up. You come find me. Got it? Even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety.
understand your concern. I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of Apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy, the pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking, and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do, so he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again.
Turn around. You're under arrest. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? I need to finish investigating before I go somewhere else. should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert.
have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, bit? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here to help. Run me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. I still hate heights. <laughs>